in most places in Kuwaitnuk, there aren't organized hockey leagues like you see in most cities and towns. This is for many reasons. Most teams don't have artificial ice to play on, and some teams only have outdoor rinks in their communities. We also have to travel long distances to play. These are some of the challenges that our people face just to have an opportunity to play hockey. But year after year, tournaments like the Northern Bands Hockey Tournament, it brings us together. My name is Max Kakapitam. I'm originally from San Diego. I've been running this hockey tournament for the last 37 years. I learned how to play hockey in a residential school. After that, uh, I came, came up north. I decided at that time that I want to do something and create some kind of a hockey for the Northern Bands Hockey Tournament. And uh, when we started, it, it was only open to the, to the, to the communities up north because we cannot compete with the town teams that have arenas and stuff like that. Eh? So that's how we started. We grew from four teams to now around 44 teams. And everybody looks forward to coming here. It's like, a, it's like a big holiday time for them. I mean, they're in the reserve and a lot of those guys, a lot of those people there, they, that's the time to come out and, and can just come out and, and spend a whole week here. They are reunions. This game allows us to celebrate and to showcase the hockey talent from the north. But to many of us, hockey is more than just a game. My name is Grace Strang and I'm from Laxville First Nation. I've been coming to this event since it started, since it originated in Sulacout. I've been to all of the Sulacout ones and all the ones here in Dryden. Uh, it's very much part of our life, I guess you can say, hockey. Um, it's just something that we look forward to each year as a family. Um, you know, my husband plays, my son plays, all my relatives play. Uh, it's really about community pride. It's about being able to visit family from other communities. Um, you know, I think the tournament has um, actually brought a lot of people together. It's actually made a lot of couples. <laughs> I like the competitive spirit. You know, I like the, the atmosphere. Seeing people again, friends you've met over the years, you see them again and again. You know, hockey's the best. I mean, it's the best way to stay healthy. It keeps your mind free, keeps your mind straight. It's a lifeline for many as we continue to fight the ongoing mental health and suicide crisis in the North. So hockey is more. It is suicide prevention. It is health. It is physical wellness. It is mental health. But also, it is nationhood. It brings our nations together to the sport of hockey. He's like, oh, my name is Sero Kisa. I play for the Trappers. It's great. It's uh, probably one of the highlight of all the hockey players from the north right? that compete down here. So it's a, it's a thrilling event for all the youth and you know, veterans themselves too, right? And the fans. My favorite memory is probably uh, winning the championship. You know, like getting to hold that you know, you're the best in the north, right? And everybody knows it, right? We're a team that will, you know, work hard. We will um, play our best. And uh, I think, uh, you know, we, we should be playing the best teams. That's how you're you all going to get better, is you play the best teams. This game, we're, we're going to just go hard, play hard, and that's it. Call for the puck. There you go, there you go. Sometimes in life, there are sad events that block our joy. But here, it's easy to be happy because hockey plays such an important role in our communities. Good luck to the hockey teams. Keep on playing and have fun. <laughs>